Hey there, Facebook Live. Uh, happy 23rd birthday to all of our JTVers out there. I am Morgan Overholt. Um, so for our Facebook event today, I was asked to talk about like some of our favorite birthday memories. And I've been here at JTV for um, nearly two years. And so it's my second birthday bash with, with all of you. And I'm having a blast as always. If I had to recall some of my personal favorite birthday memories from JTV, it'd probably be last year when uh, they turned our set into candy, like actual literal candy, and, um, and during the breaks, we all may or may not have, I mean, depending on whether or not, you know, our bosses are listening to this, uh, we may or may not have eaten a part of the set uh, during our breaks <laughs> to the point where it got so bad that we actually got an email about halfway into the month that said, hey, please stop eating the set. <laughs> it was pretty Ansel and Gretel, the whole thing, so... I always thought that was pretty funny. That was one of my favorite uh, JTV birthday memories. And then I was also asked, I was tasked to recall like my, fav my personal um, favorite birthday memories. But honestly, as strange as this probably might seem to you, I'm actually a bit of an introvert. In fact, I spent most of my time as a kid trying to figure out how to avoid having like a big party because uh, I've just always been that way. So instead I thought I'd just tell you a funny story about when I first started at JTV, sort of, you know, uh, you know, birthday celebration. You can kind of recall your favorite memories. I thought maybe that would be a fun way to go. But so no, so my husband and I who have been together for uh, nearly 11 years now are very childish, you see. We uh, have never grown up. In fact, I think we are regressing pretty much every single year. And uh, so we've always called each other, like, by silly names for our terms of endearment. I mean, like, kindergarten-style names, like, you know, like, Goober Face and, you know, or Poopy Brain or just stupid stuff like that, right? So we've, we've always kind of done that with each other. Well, fast forward uh, to a couple of years ago when I first applied here at Jewelry Television. Um, and this is a really big deal for me, guys. I want you to keep this in mind. Like, JTV is no joke. It has always been my dream job. Uh, it's always what I've wanted to do. And, and being a host here, like, it's something I, I never try to take for granted ever. And so it was a really big deal. I mean, the first, in fact, the first day that JT, if JTV ever called me and told me they were interested, I, I no joke, I, I, my knees hit the ground and I cried. Like, so it's a really big, de big deal just to kind of put that all in context for you, okay? So you've got a husband uh, who's kind of silly. You've got a dream job. So I'm sitting here filling out my paperwork. Now I'm at home um, for my brand new job at JTV. Like I just got the offer. HR sent me a bunch of paperwork to go fill out. So I'm sitting here, you know, doing the thing. And they say, okay, we'll just scan it in and send it over to us. And I was like, okay, no big deal. I told my husband, I said, hey, would you just scan this in really quick since his scanner is hooked up to the computer. And so he goes, yeah, no big deal. So he's sitting there scanning all my paperwork and my tax forms and all that stuff, you know. And I'm just over here on cloud nine because I'm about to hit my dream job and it just hadn't gotten any better. And and, I, and I, I get the email, he forwards it to me with the scans on it, and I, I just hit that forward button, and I send it straight off to Human Resources at JTV. And, uh, and I go to my sent folder in my email, and uh, I check to make sure it went through. And that's when I notice, subject line, Merry Christmas, poopy face. And I, no joke, sent that to Human Resources Department here at JTV, before I ever even started my first day in the building. <laughs> you can imagine uh, that was followed up shortly by about like 10 apology emails trying to rapidly explain the odd relationship and the strange names my husband and I call each other. <laughs> um, but what's even funnier is that <laughs> luckily, thank God, Jennifer in uh, Human Resources has a great sense of humor, so she totally understood, and I, I wasn't immediately fired, uh, so that's a good thing. But from that day, my husband and I actually continue to call each other almost exclusively now uh, Poopy Face, and so <laughs> it's like what we answer the phone, I love you Poopy Face, and that's literally how that all started. So it's also one of my favorite um, JTV memories, although I'll be at the time terrified. I thought I was going to kill him, <laughs> but <laughs> that uh, turned out to be a pretty funny story and actually a pretty good icebreaker when it's all said and done. So that's a couple of my favorite memories and you know, perhaps leave some of your favorite memories you know, with me in the comments section or perhaps if you also have a terribly embarrassing story about your husband that you'd like to share to make mine not feel so bad. <laughs> that would be awesome too. And I'll try to respond back in the comments section uh, right after the video. So thank you all so much for hanging out with me this morning and happy birthday everybody.